I overslept this morning. I missed an appointment that I was going to go to this morning regarding um, some help on unemployment, but it looks like I'm going to have to push that to tomorrow. And now I'm going to get ready to drive to Riverside. It's going to be about, looks like an hour and 20 minute drive where my coach is, and then he's gonna help me with my posing. And I really need to start practicing my posing multiple times a day until the competition because that's such a huge factor. I feel flat. I feel like just smaller than I should right now. I haven't been able to weight train in at least a couple days, which is annoying. And so all my body, my muscles just all seem kind of flat. And obviously I've been dieting and I haven't been cheating at all. Usually we'll do like a refeed or cheat meal once a week or once every two weeks. And I just, since I was so behind, I'm like, I'm not going to be doing that at all. But as a consequence, my body has kind of like shriveled up in a way. <laughs> and it doesn't get that nice little pump from my refeeds and also from working out so I'm just hoping that some trips to the gym will rectify that and nothing I can do about it right now I just gotta keep doing what I'm doing and push full speed ahead are they gonna tackle the format no so they're gonna do a one show format oh, good. all right so basically you guys are gonna go on yeah. for judging yeah. all right um, then you're gonna step off the next class is gonna be judged um, while that class is being judged, we have someone tallying up the scores. Um, when we're done with that, judging that class, we're going to bring you guys right back on for awards. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's not going to be like a pre-judging and a finals. It's just okay. one time. Because okay. uh, we're dealing with lighting issues and everything, it's outside. Um, it's at Muscle Beach. Right outside that cage. Yeah. You ever been there? Yeah, I'm quiet. It. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, okay. So they hold a lot of shows out there. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, like, like Veterans Day, Labor Day, Memorial Day, they always have a show. Yeah. It's a pretty popular place. It's going to have a lot of exposure. We got Iron Man Magazine out there, we got photographers out there, media outlets. So, and, and then basically, you don't need a ticket because people are just going to be there. So that's going to be your guys' pump up room, too. So, you got like a whole gym out there. Cool. So, have you, you remember the routine? Have you I, practiced I it remember. at all? I would say most of it, but like the details, the transitions, maybe not. Okay. So we're going to keep things simple, uh -huh. alright? Um, and, and you got to be practicing every day. Dedicate yeah. time to practice, okay? Um, I daily post workouts so you know how you look pumped and everything and exhausted. Post workouts, okay. Yeah. Keep the abs tight, blow out all that air, smile the entire time, shallow breath through your teeth. Uh, hold each pose. So, another thing, when you're hitting these poses, like a side chest, you're going to just slowly rotate towards each judge. So you should be making eye contact with every judge. Because you got judges on this side that need to see that side chest. They don't want to see the back of your shoulder. Okay? So make eye contact with every judge. Make sure they see you. And then back out. It should be like three second count. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Then get out of it. Okay. Okay, I'll call you out. Nice big smile and wave. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome competitor 64. And then, okay, so what's... Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome competitor 64. Nice big wave he did up there. So before I move, yeah. before you move, reset. Um, yep, go ahead and reset. Okay. So you did that side pose. Actually, you did something there that threw me off. So just do one little side thing and do this. Or you just want me to do this and then go. Yeah, the punch. Punch out. I okay. think I didn't do that. Okay. And then here, you want me to turn around? Yep, you're gonna swing yourself around, and that. So basically, when you take that step up, boom. So simultaneously, boom, bring this arm up, and then you swing it out. Good. Okay. 
So I'm going to turn it yeah. that way. It's the opposite way down. Like this. Yep. Swing it out, flex that tricep. Cool. And then you don't have to open back up. Just go in, grab, and go right to the side chest. Okay. Good. Yep. And then what? Uh, no, open back up into the side pose. Good. Just hold it for a second, and then you can walk. Okay. Right. You're going to do that to reset before you move. Good. And then, okay. then just bring it back. Side tricep. Remember, you got jerseys over here that need to see you. Good. Punch back out. Open back up to the side pose. Okay. We're like going like this. There you go. Bring it down. Up. Nice and high. Pull it down. And then open up. Good. Elbows forward. Good. Crank those wrists back. Awesome. Three second count. Okay. Open back up. Let's just turn around? Yep, just turn okay. it around. Good. And then if you want to do um, front double biceps, so you can do that for them. Are you doing support, creating that X? You don't have to switch, switch your feet or anything. Okay. Just create that X, scoop underneath your pecs. Good. Come up. Then open up. Yeah. That's a good smile. And then what I'd like you to do is when you're doing that, just go and sit straight up with Straight up with it. So I'm balance on both? Yep, balance on both. Okay. Good. And then right there, if you want, you can swing and hit an out pose. Blow up, blow up, blow up. Nice. Good. And then swing back out into a stage stance. And wave off. And when you say no, more uh, Diet Coke or what is it, uh, soda? Diet sodas, energy drinks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that, and also, you don't want any of the uh, like artificial sweeteners? Uh, stevia is okay. Stevia is okay. Yeah. Stevia is fine. Um, just check the stevia that you're using because a lot of them like to mix maltodextrin and dextrose with it. Okay. Um, erythritol. Okay, so it's a sugar alcohol. Um, but what stevia is fine. What is that? What does that stuff do you with your things? I, if you're used to it, if you're used to it, if you're used to drinking diet sodas and energy drinks like that, artificial sweeteners, your body's used to it. Okay, so really it's not going to do much of anything. Yeah. I'm just trying to eliminate as many unknown variables as possible. Because yeah. uh, it may or may not cause inflammation, yeah. um, water retention, yeah. so we're just trying to do that. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome competitor 64. Hmm. Yep. Easier for a feel. Good. Um, so, just one minor thing I like you to tweak, uh, yeah. just for more of a dramatic effect. Okay. So when you go down to your chest, actually look down at your hand, and I want you to follow one hand up. There you go. Just make it dramatic. Right? You don't have to smile or two. That just makes it look creepy. So just <laughs> keep make yourself look serious. Yeah. Look down at the hand, and then when you pull down, then you can look and smile. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome competitor 64. Take your time. Good. 
process. So now that we just gotta practice, 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 okay? To get that time. But you, you got the routine down? Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll come back to it at the end, but now we're gonna work on the manual for this. Okay. Alright, so after everyone's gone and done their T walk, presented themselves, we're okay. gonna line you up across center stage, and then we're gonna first do quarter turns. So no posing, we're just gonna go into stage stance, stage stance, go all the way around, and then we'll call the pose. So go ahead, front and center. Stage stance. Swing out that leg a little bit more, open you up. This one? Yep. A little bit wider base. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Boom. Chest up nice and high, arch that lower back. Good. Again, rear delts nice and tight. Perfect. Just like that. That's it. Quarter turn to the right. Good. And face front. Move that one more time. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. And face front. All right, gentlemen, front double biceps. Good, I like that, better balance. All right, so I'm gonna call that pose one more time, front double bicep. Front double bicep. back. Relax. Good. Quarter turn to the right. Side chest. Good. Relax. Side tricep. Face the rear of the stage. Rear double biceps. Relax. Good. Quarter to the right. Side chest. Go that shoulder back. Relax. Side tricep. Front. 
All right, gentlemen, show us your abs. Load out, load out, crunch. Nice. Relax. Keep tight, shallow breast. Left side intercostals. So you're just gonna slide that front foot forward a little bit more. Crunch down. Yep, we're showing off those obliques, the serratus. Left side, intercostals. Okay, let's do that. I like that. Okay. Yep. Definitely more striation in the chest. Feeling good? <laughs> A lot of work. Every adult's Okay. So I call it relax. You're right back in your stage stance. I'm going to call the opposite side. Right side, intercostals. Good. Oh, yeah, you got this. Relax. Your favorite pose. Side chest. Try to turn yourself back in front. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll see you tonight for finals. We'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> but yeah, so it should be a relatively quick show. It's a big show. There's a lot of competitors, but it should yeah. be pretty quick for the competitors. Um, so you'll be judged, then we'll bring the next class on, and then you guys shouldn't be going in anywhere too far, because as soon as that class is done, you guys should come right back up to get your awards. Okay. So they literally that every class that they judge, they have one go and then go right back to it and do the awards. Yep. So you just alternate and go right back. Okay. It, it's good if you practice posing in between sets, okay? Get that conditioning down, all right? Flex, hold, and control the breathing, okay? Yeah. So you gotta control that breathing. I need to work on keep, keep the smile, all right? Yeah. Breathe shallowly through your teeth, okay? That's it. Okay. okay. No belly breaths, all right? Breathe into your chest. Yeah. You're looking great though, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, just stay the course, stay on the plan, keep pounding water. Uh -huh. All right. Um, we're actually gonna increase your water intake um, Saturday through Thursday. Okay. okay. And then we'll cut you back just slightly on Friday. And salt still keep salt the same. Okay. Actually, if anything. Uh, when we start your depletion phase, Monday through Wednesday, uh -huh. add a little bit extra salt to okay. everything. Okay. Okay. So that was my posing coaching session that I did. I uh, just drove out to Riverside, took me about an hour and a half to get there, and went over the whole routine. As you saw, that's what I'm going to have to be working on every day. The goal is multiple times a day until the competition because I really need to get it down really, really solid so that when you're on stage and you have people staring at you and you're like nervous and you're competing and you're completely depleted that you're not gonna like forget the routine or stumble or seem anything but completely positively confident and sure of yourself. Making that eye contact like he was saying with the judges the entire time and not hesitating at all. Everything has to be very well rehearsed and just super clean, confident, and kind of sexy too. That's the goal. So I hope that was, um, if, for those of you who have never seen anything like that or don't even, didn't even know what posing was as far as men's physique goes, um, maybe that uh, enlightened you a little bit into the bodybuilding world. Yeah, and it sounds like there's gonna be a lot of people there and it's outside and, no t and there's no ticket cost and lots of exposure and Iron Man Magazine will be there covering it. Iron Man Magazine has recently switched over from just doing um, just the bodybuilding industry in general to prim focusing primarily on natural bodybuilders, which I think is really cool and a very necessary change in the bodybuilding industry if people want bodybuilding to be legitimized and accepted by the general population. And this federation specifically, INBA, PNBA, which I compete for and I love this federation, they want to be able to bring bodybuilding into the Olympic world as an Olympic sport. So part of that process is by making rigorous testing and 
to ensure that it's natural. Um, WADA, which is World Anti-Doping Agency, standards of testing, which is the same standards and regulations in place for Olympic athletes. So basically, they're um, treating their athletes with the same expectations that an Olympic athlete would, would, in hopes that eventually the Olympic Committee will see that and say, well, you guys are already on par with what we're doing, so it'll be an easy changeover to bring you guys into the Olympic world as an official Olympic sport. How cool would that be? Can get more into that at another time. That's a whole another can of worms to get into. All right, uh, I, what time is it? It's almost five. I just took a little nap. I did some laundry. Duke peed on the bed. So, I mean, it wasn't a lot. Like he didn't full on pee. He just, you know, just a little bit because of his trauma and stuff. There will be times when he thinks uh, he's in trouble even though he's not. And when I try to talk to him, he'll think he's in trouble. And it's really, those moments are really hard because there's almost nothing I can do to uh, ease him. And if I, even if I'm talking sweetly and I come over and pet him, he'll just start like peeing himself a little bit because he thinks uh, he's in trouble or he's gonna get punished or something. So that's hard because that makes me wanna freak out because he's peeing on my bed on the sheets and it's gonna soak into the mattress and I need to get him off the bed ASAP so I can remove the sheets and clean it up before it like soaks into everything. And that makes it very tricky because I wanna treat him kindly, but at the same time, I can't spare a quarter of a second because I need to handle this now. So um, sometimes that's tough, but anyway. So I was doing laundry, I was washing the sheets. I need to do the clothes still later. And I'm gonna go work out, I'm gonna do a chest, I'm gonna do a little posing practice after my workout in the locker room, and then I'll come back. Then I need to eat, I need to eat. I've only had my breakfast today. So I need to make lunch, eat that. I got some editing to do today, I'll post my daily vlog. I'm sure there's more stuff to do, but I don't really wanna think about it right now. So I'm just gonna drink my pre-workout and go to the gym. <laughs> Okay, yes.